Naturally Quen presents Dusting My Single Strand Knots. Hey guys. All right, today I'm gonna to show you all how I combat single strand knots, also known as fairy knots. Now this is a viewer requested video and it was requested by It's Sue Boo. So here you go, I hope this helps. Now for those of you that don't know what a single strand knot is, it's literally a strand of hair that has been tied onto itself and it creates a little teeny knot at the end of the strand. So you might be wondering, how can something so tiny create such a problem? And here's why. When you get a single strand knot, the adjacent hair gets caught on it and creates an even bigger tangle. So you can imagine what it's like if you've got tons of single strand knots in your hair. It makes it really difficult to style your hair. A few things to know. Single strand knots come with the territory of being natural. So get used to it. There's no way to prevent them. If you've got curly hair, expect that you're gonna get single strand knots. They don't have to become a huge problem as long as you're on top of trimming and dusting and maintaining your ends. If you notice that you've got a lot of single strand knots, it might be time to trim your hair. So I'm gonna show you all how I deal with my single strand knots. This is a technique called dusting. It's also used for clipping split ends and just kind of maintaining the ends of your hair. Dusting my hair regularly allows me to go more time between trims. Now let's get started. All I'm gonna use for this process are my hair cutting scissors. You always wanna make sure that when you cut your hair, you use hair cutting scissors because anything else can actually create more damage to your hair. I got these at Sally's for a few bucks. I'll post a link in the description box. Something I'll keep handy are a couple of duck clips, just to help keep the finished strands separate. I'll start by grabbing a few curls and feathering out the ends. This allows me to see each strand without being overwhelmed. Running my fingers over the strand helps me detect where the knots are if I can't see them. Found one, now I'm just gonna get my scissors and clip the hair right above the knot. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Let the fairy knot games begin. And I promise it's not as tedious as it looks. It's actually kind of fun. And this is the same technique I use for split ends. This is also one of the ways I retain my length while maintaining healthy hair. Another trick I use to see what's going on is holding my hair up to the light. It kind of makes all the imperfections stand out. Look at how much hair I've covered in just a few minutes. This is super easy. Another way to detect potential issues is by attempting to separate your curls. If you notice your hair getting stuck, then Houston, we have a problem. I present to you Exhibit A. Now here's an example of a single strand knot that's turned into a tangle. Notice it's got multiple strands involved. Now before I cut anything, I'm gonna work through this tangle as much as possible and free any hair that I can. That gets me down to the root of the problem, which turns out to be just two strands of hair. And voila, problem solved. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I would just go around my entire head when you have the time. This is not something that you wanna sit in the mirror for hours and hours and hours to get every single <laughs> single strand not cut out of your hair. I mean, that's not very realistic. So what I do is if I'm watching TV or doing something where I can use my hands and play in my hair, I just kind of simply, you know, look at my ends, check them out, have scissors ready. And if I see something, I cut it off. So honestly, I don't have many single strand knots because I'm always on top of them. And I would say do this every couple months depending on how severe your single strand knots are and how 
much tangling that you get. Another thing is if you are noticing a lot of single strand knots, it's really an indication that it's time to trim your ends. And that's not me saying go off and chop inches off of your hair because you have single strand knots. It's about assessing the situation. And if you notice that you've got most of your single strand knots stayed, you know, an inch away from the bottom of your hair, then that's what you know it's time to cut off. But I would definitely say they are controllable. You don't have to let them ruin your natural hair journey. And I understand how frustrating they can be. So I hope this video is helpful. If any of you have any suggestions on how you combat your single strand knots, please let us know and leave a comment below. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. To see how I got this look, click here for my Eco Styler Wash and Go. Also, check out my channel update video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me at Blogspot, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook.